nigga, I'ma do it on my own Probably like 2008, 9, around high school type shit, like 10th grade. Before I was just writing raps, sometimes I was videos, like took a video of me rapping to the beat. But most of it was just me writing, I wasn't really rapping until 2010. But I just started taking it serious, like, like literally probably like last year, 2014 type, no, 2015, late 2014 type shit. That's when I really started trying to actually get somewhere, you feel me, because people were telling me I was talented, I knew I could rap, but I didn't know if it was that real, like, I didn't know if that's what I was going to do, but now I feel like that's what I'm going to do. Okay, okay. So, what were your musical influences growing up? So, you 20, you said you tw it's turned 23, 23? Sheesh! January what? 30th. Ah, uh, you're not a Capricorn, but shout out to the Aquarius, you know? Bro, me, like, what, what, so you, you you got you know a lot about music basically from oh, what yeah. I know because yeah, yeah. that's like we the '90s babies, right? Yeah, facts. So 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 what were your musical influences growing up? Like who did you listen to mostly? If you could give me three on top. Mm, growing up, I could say Jay Z of course, Jada Kiss, and like Ludacris. Ludacris. Yeah. You, you bang with the South music a little bit. Oh uh, yeah yeah definitely definitely definitely. Did. <laughs> okay okay. So, do you think you could, you could compare your flow to any artists out there that's out right now or while you were younger? Uh, I can't even explain it. It's like I took a lot of different aspects from a lot of different music I've been listening to. Like, it's just a combination of so much shit that I can't even explain it. But, and you just made it like your own uniqueness, yeah, basically. Yeah, I just made it my own uniqueness. But when I just started rapping, for real, the, the person I always wanted to feel like I could fuck with them was Jada Kiss, honestly. Like, I just felt like if I could at least sound like I could rap next to this nigga, I will be good. That, and that's really why I used to follow. And then it just turned to something else. Okay, okay. That's, that's great. So yeah, my flow's all over the place, bro. It's mine, it's Flea Flow. Flea Flow? Mm-hmm, that's what I call it, Flea Flow. Flea Flow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you say, versatile with it? <laughs> versatile, yeah, for a fact, versatile. I compete like with your music because I, I I got the, I got your email the other day and I was listening to mm -hmm. some tracks like you, you you everywhere like yeah yeah I'm you, everywhere you could be like the hood dude they could be the calm dude yeah yeah and and it's like a good combination you know no one never know what you what you capable of yeah, you know yeah. and, and I still try to keep my sound in the midst of all of that yeah I hear that you got your yeah. own adlibs yo your yeah, adlibs yeah, is yeah, hard yeah. Free. <laughs> whoa all of that. <laughs> So, Please. have you have you released any form of album music in case of people out there don't know? Yeah, I just released a little like five song mixtape called March Madness. It's on um, SoundCloud. You can just look me up on SoundCloud, Henry Hennessy, or Henry Hennessy Flea. That's my SoundCloud. Feel me? Yeah, you can go look for that right now. I just dropped that probably like three days ago. Three days ago? Yeah. I definitely, definitely gotta look that up. I definitely gotta look that up. So since you started rapping as in like mainstream, like you said, um, when you're taking it seriously, yeah, yeah. as far as that go, I know like yeah, the internet had a lot of promotion. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, and yeah. Instagram. Mm -hmm. All of that shit. You have like a heavy, a heavy fan base. Did, did, you, did you realize that? Yeah, it's like every every day, just like when I'm just on the internet and I'm seeing how people reacting to shit, and I'm just like, wow, niggas really fuck with me. I've been rapping for a little minute, and it's like. My shit is like, it's organic, like I'm just, like, people are just naturally fucking with me, like, they, whether they fuck with me for just the like, post I put up or whatever it is, but niggas just, they just fuck with me, and it's just, they, that Sod Nigga song, they already kind of had some hope in me, it was like, I just kicked the rap, I made the Sod Nigga shit, now they actually just want to hear other shit, and they just gravitate to everything else. I actually heard that track, Sad so Nigga. I, I was yeah, weak, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you took it there. Yeah. But it was, a, it was a great tune, you feel me? Yeah, good looks, man. I appreciate it. That's um, fun. Before we get any further with the music, I, I forgot one key question. Where, where you grew up? Where did you grow up for your childhood? Like, uh, uh, as far as that? Oh. In East Flatbush, though. I grew up in East Flatbush, like 40s. I used to live in the 40s. 
Then I moved to the 30s, but I don't even hang out around there. I'm hey, just, hold on. I think you got a call. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Hello? Okay. If you just call up, call us yeah, back. You just call, you call back. Chance. Um, the phone says all there right now. Just give us a minute. But we're gonna go back to this. So you grew up in East Flatbush, forties. Forties, yeah. Shoot, it's kind of rough out there. You wouldn't say? Yeah, it was rough out there. But you feel me? I was out of the way. I was an out of the way nigga. Shoot, hold on, one more time. Call you live, call you live. Hello? 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 Yeah, call you live. Hello? Call you live. Call you live. Hello? Oh my, you wanna hear us? Yeah, I hear you. What's up? Who this? What's going on? It's busy. Busy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Who is this? DJ Amana? <laughs> no. It's Henry Hennessy right now. What's going on? What's going on? I'm chilling. One question. I'm, I, I stood up in your DM. The DVD underscore bookie biz. Uh -huh. One question that I wanted to ask you. What makes you different from every artist in Brooklyn? I think what makes me different is uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's a combination of things. I feel like I'm one of the few niggas that could appeal to, you feel me, the youth, but mm -hmm. not, through, not through negativity. Mm. For me, I may curse a little every now and then, but I don't really promote. You could relate. Yeah, I could relate, but I'm not really promoting no violence. I'm not promoting promoting no heavy drug use. For me, a little mm. alcohol talk, but okay. niggas that listen to all that rough shit can still fuck with me. You feel me? Mm -hmm. It's not corny. That's what's up, though. That's what's up, DJ Man. I see you. Yo, what's good? What's good, bitch? What's good, bro? But listen, one thing I wanted to tell you though, yeah. when you done with that interview, sit up in my DM. I got a business proposition for you. All right. All right. Thanks for calling. Um, let me turn this the number. What's the number? The number is 718-758-4024 to me. Uh, run it back. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Definitely shout out to Busy, you know, she got her whole music going for herself she she actually has her own artist so i, I gotta have her in one of these weekends we've been talking like i told you before been trying to line up some things for the artists you know upcoming and whatnot yeah. so it's, it's looking good it's looking good you feel me and and your feedback and your work ethic is gonna like you feel me it's gonna blow like you said in time yeah but you know what i'm saying as far as your focus right now where's your main focus in your life even though you're in music i know like you have other things going on, yeah. so can you just like I guess a little sentence let me know where your main focus is on right now? I can't front. My main focus is really on music right now. I mean, I'm just trying to get myself ready for, to, to to make the best music that I can make right now. Like everything, I'm putting everything to the side right now for at least a good two years, two three years right now. That that music only. That's that's. I'm eating music, breathing music, that's all. I don't even know about what's going on around me right now. All I know is music, right ass. I wake up, music. I go to sleep, music. I be stressing all day, music. Even if I don't know what I'm stressing about, it's just music. That's all that's on my mind. You can, you can release some stress through the music as that's well, right? Fact, yeah, I talk about shit that I feel like talking about. You ever had a track that you just built out your feelings on? Yeah, you feel me? They kind of old. I have a recent one where I did that, but I ain't, I ain't put it out yet. But I definitely do though. I'll be talking about what's going on. Is that something to look out for? That's definitely something to look out for. That's coming out soon. I dropped a little small mixtape, March Madness. It got five tracks on it, but I'm going to do it on my own. Definitely one. check out that March Madness on yeah, his SoundCloud. Henry Hennessy. Like, I'm sure I have y'all know how to spell Hennessy. Y'all yeah. don't even know how to count, but y'all know how to spell Hennessy. <laughs> it's all good though. Let's pick up the bottle, look at it. So shoot. As far as, since you focus on music, I know you say you focus on it. Yeah. I'm sure you have distractions daily or weekly. Oh, yeah. how, 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 how bad is it with the females? Because I know the females is like the first one to just jump up in the spot. Yeah, it's crazy with females because they actually, I'm just looking at it, I'm like, damn, I'm not even like that yet. It was there already a little, but 
it's a little more known. Females are very distracting, I can't front. Every time I find myself getting too involved with a female, I start fucking around and forgetting about my music. Because <laughs> I'll be having an attitude and shit, I'll be tight about shit, calling back to argue, all sorts of shit. I'll be forgetting <laughs> about music, for real, for real. Oh, we got another caller, hold on. <laughs> that would be funny. Call your love. Hello? Hello? Yo, what's good, Fleet? What's good, Fleet? What's good, man? What you fucking with? What you man, fucking with? Great, bro. You got questions, bro? Of course, bro. Man, what you got to say? I'm gonna hear something. Man, I'm gonna do it on my own, bro. Uh, I'm gonna do it on my own. I'm gonna do it on my own. It should drop by before the summer for a fact. We what month we in right now? May? Yeah, we in March. We in March of yeah. weekend. Yeah, but we in March facts. So I say May, probably late March, but I'm gonna drop one more video for a song I got called Work. It's out too. I'm gonna drop a video for that, let that move, then I'm gonna do the mixtape. But that's gonna be within a month, a month and a half. Alright, please. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So I'm always fucking with you, bro. Yeah, bro, I, I feel me, I respect you, bro. Everybody that fuck with me, I fuck with them. Whoa. Whoa. Thanks for calling up. If anyone else got more questions, just don't be scared. Call us up at 718-758-4024. Alright, my next question. Alright, let's just say I right, one day, you know, you just get a random email from yeah. like a label. Yeah. How where do you wanna take your work as as far as you know now, basically? That's what I wanna know. Like what would I do? Are you trying to be like an independent artist and basically branch yourself off or you know, if the door opens, you just, you're gonna take advantage of that. I well, can't, I, I'm more so independent right now. Like, that's what I'm going for. Even, even with the office start rolling in, I'm gonna try to get, I'm trying to get comfortable so I can actually go me call shots. I, I, I honestly feel like I have something that a lot of niggas don't have yet. You know what niggas is not listening to as much. It don't matter how nice you are yet, niggas don't know it yet. But well, right now, I feel like when the world gets, for me, they start hearing my shit, and I start, and, and niggas just start fucking with me from everywhere. I know I'm gonna have a voice, cause I ain't, I ain't about to stop no time soon at all. All I do is just make shit. I feel like once I get a little, my foot in the door a little, I feel like it's, I'm gonna be lit enough to just go me control my way. So you say you're on a mini mission for yourself right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm on just on my own. I'm trying to see what I can do by myself right now. Are you like literally on your own or you have like your own little entourage, you know, like when you're doing certain things, they help you out or they shout you out or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to leave niggas out, that's a fact. I definitely got a, I definitely got a good team with me, me gang. There's a bunch of niggas that fuck with me. My son Trey, my Paris. Trey knows songs who fuck with me. My son Joey. Spaz, a few. I mean, it's a lot of people that, you know, they listen to my music, man. It's a lot of my friends that really been supporting me since day one. It's a lot of names. I don't want to forget too much, but it's, it's a lot of people that have been on my side. Shout out to the Flea movement. Just yeah. <laughs> Flea gang. Flea. The hoodie's coming soon. Very soon. A lot of people asking if they're coming very soon. All right. As far as, um... Beats go. Do you go about getting your own beats done, or you go sit down with a producer and then tell them what you want and then jot it down? Or oh, we got a call up. Hold on. Call you live. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. What's good, Flea? Who this? Okay, we hear this, nigga. What's good? What's up with me, nigga? That's a fact. Like you've been listening, man. So you just keep, try, try to keep it clean for me a little yeah, bit, Yeah, yeah, try to keep it clean, my bad. <laughs> clean, sorry about that. Wow, please. Yeah, yeah, it's Gucci, it's Gucci. What's good, though? Cool, cool, it. Mm -hmm. You just dropped a new song, bro. I mean, I just dropped five songs the other day, bro, on SoundCloud. Henny, Henny, CP, check it out, bro. What's the last, what's the last song I made that you want? What's the last song you want, Sorry, nigga? Nah, never. Who no, was it? Let me tell you right now. I thought that. Uh, 
I'm gonna do it all like, oh. Okay, okay, that's what you want. <laughs> Work so hard, I need another one to play. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, that's on my, that's on my song called, that's money, that's money and power right there, featuring Wordy Maze, Double M. Yeah, Wordy thing, bro. Yeah, good luck, sweetie. I appreciate it, for real. Yeah, no Definitely, thanks for calling up, all right? All right, so to wrap this up, just in case you don't have enough time, I'm gonna ask you two to three more questions, then we gonna get into a little freestyle session. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. All right. You already answered the question about your projects coming up. Or did, no, no, no. You said you just dropped, you just dropped March Madness, yeah. which was five days ago. Look, I went inside for having an you. What do you have coming for the summer? You have any heat that no one really heard about? Or you have a leak anything yet? Yeah, 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 BAS. B-A-S? B-A-S. So me, I gotta keep my language down. Bottles and S word. Y'all know what that stand for. <laughs> Bottles and yeah, S word. That's 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 gonna be like May, June, for me when they start getting hot right there. That's that's songs for the club. That's just the party. before the summer, you saying. Mm-hmm. Alright. Okay. Do you have any upcoming shows that you wanna tell anyone about? Um I'm supposed to be performing at LIU on the 24th or the 29th. For those who don't know, that's Long Island University. University, yeah, that's downtown, downtown Brooklyn. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, Henry Hennessy, on Facebook at Henry Hennessy, even Snapchat Henry Hennessy, I'll tell you more about it. But it's gonna be like 24th or the 29th, but it's definitely later this month. If you follow me, I'm definitely gonna keep you posted. I'm definitely trying to pull up to that. Liu, that's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you selling tickets for it or no? Yeah, but we didn't get those, like, we didn't get that started yet, but yeah, oh, that Okay, okay, it's in the, still in the works. It's in the works, yeah. Last question. How do you feel about your city as far as rap itself? Because there's a lot of talent, but some some talent is just all luck and then some is raw talent. How do you feel that, um, do you feel like you're getting the right recognition, basically, right now? Um, it's funny, because I think I could be a little hotter but that's just natural. But I, I appreciate the recognition that I'm getting. It's, it, it, it's, it's genuine. Anybody that messes with me right now, you're doing it because you like my music. You feel me? I'm not really, I'm nobody to just hop on a bandwagon. And it's a good amount of people that listen to my music. So those people, like, they genuinely like me. I, just, I, I like how it's going, though. I can't front. If it was better, of course, I would be happy. I, I appreciate what, what I'm doing right now. And I'm definitely trying to expand. All right, that's, a, that's another call. We're going to take this one last call, then we're going to get into a freestyle, all right? All right. Hello? Call Shut you live. Call you live. Call I'ma do it on my own. Whoa. Nigga, I'ma do it on my own. Whoa. Bottles and shit. We need more bottles and shit.